Well, there we go. So now let's move on to the range and endurance of propeller driven aircraft and jet aircraft. It is on 436 and 444 page number of chapter 6 of element of airplane performance of introduction to flight. Book we are referring now and uh, it will cover it will be covered in two lectures. So here we have range and endurance for propeller airplane and this is the propeller engine as you can see that the engine produces the piston engine specifically we are talking about it is not a turbo turboprop or a turbo shaft engine it is a piston engine we are talking about and the shaft is rotating the propeller and the power produced in the engine is the brake horse power p and the power available at the propeller end is depend uh, depends upon the efficiency of the propeller amount of thrust it can generate okay and which brings us to the power available that is equal to the eta times p so the power available at the propeller end will be eta times p okay so in range and endurance we will see that power produced by the reciprocating engine is the brake horse power that is p and the amount of fuel consumed in unit time to produce unit brake horse power is the specific fuel consumption okay in propeller engine we talk about the power produced by the fuel consumption but in jet engine we talk about the power, uh, fuel consumed to generate unit thrust for a unit time the definition of specific fuel consumption just remain the same only change the power parameter with thrust parameter in jet airplane okay so let's first complete this power and it shows that amount of fuel consumed in unit time to produce unit power is given by c which is specific fuel consumption and the specific fuel consumption is written in this formula uh, which shows that minus dw of fuel change in weight of fuel is decreasing because with time as aircraft fly from one point to another the fuel gets consumed and it will decrease and the minus sign shows that it will decrease the fuel will be consumed okay so let's say at initial time the weight of the aircraft whole aircraft structure payload uh, everything with fuel its weight is w0 and when it reaches at a point its weight is w1 which is initial weight minus weight of the fuel whole of the fuel is getting consumed so now let's again revisit this definition of range and endurance so the range for an airplane is actually the amount of distance it can travel for a given amount of fuel okay the amount of distance we are talking about here for the aircraft is the distance with respect to the surface of earth okay so the amount of distance it can travel in air which is measured on the surface of earth for a given tank of fuel is the range of an aircraft and the endurance is the amount of time it takes to cover the distance for a given amount of fuel okay or say uh, endurance is actually the amount of time the airplane can stay in the air for a given amount of fuel okay so now let's complete it from here we can say dwf is equals to dw of aircraft that is change in weight of fuel is equal to the change in weight of the aircraft because the aircraft weight only changes because of the change in weight of fuel so the weight of the fuel when changes the aircraft weight will change and it is equal to minus cp dt okay so now here we can say to compute the endurance we brought minus cp downwards of dw okay and from here we see that endurance e is just the integral from initial point zero to a time e okay for initial weight w0 of an aircraft to the final weight when the whole weight of the fuel gets consumed w1 okay so integrating both sides with respective variables okay will give us the endurance of the airplane for a piston engine propeller driven aircraft okay and similarly we can uh, derive this range formula we just need to multiply this time with velocity because distance is equal to speed into time and here we just need to multiply with the velocity of the aircraft which is v infinity with which the aircraft is flying and v infinity dt is equal to ds and from uh, initial zero distance to r distance it can travel and we just multiply this with v infinity and integrate it for same w0 to w1 keeping minus sign outside and this formula is further solved by using burgett burgett formula by uh, it is a burgett burgett formula okay uh, and uh, it might be pronounced in some other way but i say burgett formula okay so lift uh, first uh, for this burgett formula the lift is equal to weight and thrust is equal to drag that is uh, here we are considering a steady level flight to derive the range and endurance formula a complete formula a closed form solution we can say that will give us the uh, amount of range if we know the given parameters for an aircraft okay so we substituted value of lift and drag over here okay when this is integrated and upon substituting value of lift thrust or drag over here and substituting value of this power p because the amount of range or endurance for an piston engine airplane who is driven by propeller will depend upon the amount of power that is brake horsepower produced by consuming the amount of fuel in the piston engine it does not depend upon the power available at the propeller end okay so that's that's why we are uh, using this p over here okay in this formula not power available this is brake horse power and upon solving we will get range equals to eta by c multiplied by cl by cd multiplied by ln that is natural log of w0 by w1 initial and final weight and endurance is eta by c multiplied by cl raised to power 3 by 2 by cd under root of 
2 rho infinity s multiplied by 1 by under root w1 minus 1 by under root w0. And if you see or compare these formulas, that you will see that range does not depend upon the density, whereas endurance depends upon the density. Or say, as the aircraft, a propeller driven aircraft with reciprocating engine flies at sea level, where density is maximum, endurance will be maximum. And range does not depend upon the altitude at which the airplanes are propeller driven airplane is flying okay with a piston engine and other points remain the same for both these except one another that uh, range and endurance will increase when efficiency of propeller is maximum or will be high and the fuel consumption should be the lowest then range and endurance will be high also the initial weight that is w naught of the aircraft should be high or say the weight of fuel should be high okay which is why the range or endurance will be maximum and lastly for the range to be maximum cl by cd should be maximum but for endurance CL raised to power 3 by 2 divided by CD should be maximum. Okay, we have done these while doing our power required and thrust required. And at that time, we have seen these are design points for an aircraft performance. And we will again revisit this in the next lecture. And now moving on to the range and endurance for a jet engine airplane, we have seen that uh, this specific fuel consumption is just different in this power term. That because uh, the amount of fuel consumed here in a piston engine is generating power to rotate the shaft. So that it can deliver the power to this propeller that should fly an aircraft with the available power at this propeller end. But for a jet engine airplane, the amount of fuel consumed depends upon the amount of thrust it can generate at the end of the nozzle of the aircraft, okay, or at the end of the jet airplane. So which is why the uh, specific fuel consumption for jet engine will give us the formula that is weight of fuel consumed to produce unit thrust for a unit time. Okay, here BHP will be reduced by thrust which is equal to drag and then the range and endurance formula for steady level flight will be derived for these uh, parameters and we can see that range is equal to 2 by C or it is here it is specific fuel, fuel consumption is C and here C T and please note the weight which we are talking about here W0 initial weight everywhere we are talking about initial weight W0 is an instantaneous weight at that moment what is the weight of an airplane okay at an instant we are talking about and as the time goes the weight of the aircraft keep decreasing because the fuel is getting consumed so the range of jet engine aircraft is given by 2 by C or say CT which is specific fuel consumption or which is uh, again range is equal to 2 by CT under root 2 divided by rho times S or rho infinity times S. S is the planform area we know from aerodynamics okay and it is multiplied by CL raised to power 1 by 2 divided by CD multiplied by under root W0 minus under root W1. This is range for a jet engine airplane and the endurance is given by E equals 1 by CT multiplied by CL by CD multiplied by natural log LN of W0 by W1. So here also we will see that both these fuel consumption for jet engine as well should be the minimum for range and endurance and initial weight should also be high or say it should be maximum or when it will be maximum when the amount of fuel will be maximum okay initial weight will be maximum when the amount of fuel will be maximum or now the other parameter that differentiates range and endurance over here for a jet engine the range depends upon the altitude at which it is flying the higher the altitude the higher the range so but a caution should be taken here that higher the altitude it may be outer atmosphere where there is no atmosphere outer space actually where there is no atmosphere so there is no point of jet airplane uh, that will be flying so we should stick to this that uh, range is the worst when it is flying at sea level and it increases as it goes at higher altitude and endurance does not depend upon the altitude at which the jet aircraft is flying and another parameter at which range depends is cl raised to power 1 by 2 divided by cd these cl and cd ratios in these formulas are all aircraft performance or aircraft design parameters which is why they are important okay and here we see that endurance is dependent upon cl by cd ratio and we know that cl by cd is thrust required minimum okay uh, cl by cd will be maximum at thrust required minimum and lastly we can see a little similarity and opposite formulas in these propeller and jet engine that range formula is quite similar to the endurance formula of propeller for the range formula of jet is similar to endurance formula of propeller and endurance formula of jet is similar to range formula of propeller so keep this in mind we will continue in the next lecture thank you